capital expenditure budget issues to consider. Capital expenditure, as we mentioned, is often of large amount and finance will be needed both internally from the businesses coffers or externally from maybe investors, loan or equity. So the quality of purchasing decision will affect the level of profitability of the business. If you invest rightly, the asset will help you to generate more income. So the assets once acquired must be used judiciously in order to generate more return. A profitable rate of return must be obtained to justify why the asset must still be kept in the business. So in order to get the best out of a capital investment, you need a budget. And this is how they are prepared. First, the business must identify an investment that is required. So if a business wants to expand, get more units produced within a period, maybe they might need a particular machinery that will help them. If they want a bigger space in order to store the item, they might want to get another warehouse. So all related expenditures will have to be summarized, preferably in a standard form, in order for proper evaluation to be done. Secondly, after the assets or the investment has been determined, it must be evaluated. Okay, So data must be presented and then evaluated. Now, this approach might range from just evaluating a simple payback assessment, how much we paid, how much is supposed to come in from the investment, or the use of sophisticated procedures, allowing for time value of money. The third is authorizing the purchase or disposal of capital expenditure. But because of the value of capital investment, it will not lie at the level of divisional or lower level managers for that. It would have to go to the board level to be approved. Expenditures of a certain limit will lie in the powers of divisional managers to make. Fourthly, after all this, then it has to be implemented. Once they've gotten the right investment to be made, they have evaluated it and they have gotten approval, then they have to zoom into action. And this will depend on the size of the investment and the complexity of it. Now, the investment must be monitored to ensure that the expected yield is what is being achieved. If not, then remedies must be taken. Now, the entire investment decision-making process must be reviewed to facilitate organizational learning in order to improve investment actions of the business.